Oh, hey, this is Sherry Cheever. And uh, some time ago, uh, I don't quite remember when, I wrote a tutorial on the um, faux bleach technique for split coat stampers. Over the course of some time, Beata, who manages the tutorials in the Resource Center on split coat stampers, has been updating all the video, all the tutorials with videos. And she asked me some time ago to recreate uh, the color wash faux bleach in a video. So that's what I'm going to do today. And uh, I think we'll, we're going to do it a couple different ways, actually. I'm going to give you some alternatives in this video. But uh, let me uh, get another drink of coffee and uh, readjust everything, and I'll be right back with you. All right, I'm back now. This is a sample of what I've worked up for you to see. It's using the Ranger Color Wash and um, on just a manila shipping tag. And uh, what I've got here with me is I have a craft iron. Any Actually, any household iron would work, or if you're never going to use it again on clothing, or just a small travel iron. And I have it set on high, cotton and linen, no steam. I have my embossing ink. I'm using Ranger Beauty, the ultra embossing enamel. Ultra thick, actually. And I have my tag and my stamp. So uh, I'm going to first ink up my stamp with the Distress Ink, embossing ink. And I'm going to have to stand up for this and stamp it here on my tag. I'll then sprinkle on my beauty. And from here, we're going to emboss this. And make sure that all of the beauty is melted. And uh, just to show you what I've done, this is quickly, but I already have one that is embossed. So we're just going to toss that other one away and, and uh, we'll use this one. Now you need some paper towel for this technique. And I have two or three pieces here that I'm going to fold up and lay down in the middle of my craft sheet and put my tag in the middle. I'm using a butterscotch. Well, my, my judgment is off. Sorry about that. Uh, butterscotch color wash. Don't shake it and just uh, give it a good squirt along your tag. Here is some red pepper. And then I have lettuce. Now, while that's there, what I like to use is just a plain sheet of printer paper. And I laid it down over the top and with my iron, start ironing the embossing off of my tag below. And you'll see it come through the paper. And uh, if you think you've got it all, you can lift up on your typing paper. If it sticks, reheat in that area again and uh, you can it will come off. You just have to make sure you get all that beauty melted. So here is the uh, tag that we're ready to, you know, you can do anything with this. You can add it to a card. You could distress the edges and make just a tag uh, to have, you know, I just keep them on a key ring. I kind of like them. So um, that's one way of doing this. Now, I've oh, look at the sheet of paper that I ironed off. That's pretty cool. And uh, I think if you put, uh, use a uh, piece of, heavyweight cardstock with this, you'll get a second uh, sheet. But, let's now, if you don't have the Ranger Color Wash, and I wanted to show you what you could do there. I've already embossed another tag with the same image, and I have a green and a blue Distress Reinker mixed up in a Ranger Mini, Mini Mister. Now, you can do this with any water-based re-inker. 
all you Stampin' Up! users, you can use your, your inks, take and put some, I use a dropper of the Distress and put it into the Mini Mister. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I'm going to fill the rest of my Mini Mister up with water, not adding any perfect pearls or anything. And now I have my own color wash made from water-based reinkers. So now I can take, and I'm going to spray, whoops, that was my iron. <laughs> I'm going to spray these on this tag, just very randomly. And I've got some green here yet. And using the same way, a piece of paper, lay it over the top, and then you start ironing. I did fail to lay down some um, <clears throat> paper towel, and you all didn't remind me, so um, my craft sheet's a little messy. Oh, and it's sticking down here, so I'm going to apply some more to make sure it's all melted. And then I can bring it up, and here I have a complete different look over the one with color wash. This is the one with your um, reinkers.